Wow, AI is getting scarily crazy. AI will definitely replace musicians, no doubt. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, this AI makes better melodies than me. So I found this AI called ChatGBT that allows you to type anything you want. How do I mix beats? And it literally just does it for you. It's crazy. <laughs> Start by setting the levels of each of your tracks. Use effects like reverb and delay to add depth and texture. Dude, this is wild. This is crazy. Well, today we're gonna see how much it actually knows about music production and maybe it can teach us a cool trick or two. <laughs> Okay, let's start with some easy stuff, the basics. And then later, we're gonna start asking the harder questions. We're gonna see how far we can push this. Can you write me a chord progression for a trap beat at 140 BPM? C minor, G minor, F major, D minor. This is actually a pretty decent progression. <laughs> write me a trap drum pattern at 140 BPM. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's a mess. Kick drum on every beat, snare drum on every beat. This is gonna sound awful. That is not a trap drum beat at all. <laughs> Let me just fix it a little bit <laughs> so it makes a little sense. I mean, it's still trash, <laughs> but at least it makes sense a little bit. Write me a melody for my chords. That sounds terrible. So I'm doing some research to figure out what else this AI can do, and I figured out a couple of crazy things that I can't wait to try out. The first one is that ChatGPT can write code, like computer code. Hold on a sec. Can you write C++ code for a reverb audio plugin? Dude, it's programming a plugin right now. I, I don't know anything about this stuff, so I have no idea if it works. Somebody try this and let me know if it works. It's making a reverb plugin. It's just making it. I just asked for it and it's making a plugin. This is scary. Whether this works or not, this makes me extremely uncomfortable. Hi, my name is Redder and I'm editing this video. If you wanna know whether the reverb plugin works, it doesn't. <laughs> In order for this plugin to work, you need a header file and a source file. What ChatGPT gave Ed was just the header file. I tried asking ChatGPT for both files, but you kind of need to be an experienced programmer to connect the two together. So that's that for anyone who's wondering. Now back to Mr. Italian man. So yeah, that's crazy. And then I found out about this program called Sonic Pi that basically translates code into audio, into music. So I'm thinking AI GPT that writes the code plus Sonic Pi that turns it into music. Can you write code for a fast rock song in Sonic Pi? Sure, here's some code you can use to create a fast rock song in Sonic Pi. Dude, this is crazy. Define a basic rock beat, define a rock guitar riff. All right, copy code, Sonic Pi, paste the code, play. It crashed, all done. <laughs> Let me restart it. No, I was so excited for this. Let's try to work on it a little bit. Can you put the snare on the second and fourth beat, the kick drum on the first and third beat and make the tempo halftime? Let's see what happens. Copy code, paste it in here, play. Okay, what? First of all, it's not in 4-4, four, four, but it's in 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, five. And then there's no guitar. It just the whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's try a different beat completely. Can you write code for an EDM song in Sonic Pi? Now my expectations are really low, so <laughs> I'm gonna be easily impressed. All right, copy, paste. This is way more rock than the other one. <laughs> How is this EDM? Let's change the EDM to pop. Okay, so we got chords, C4, E4. It's writing a melody, no drums. I don't think it did drum. But we got chords and a melody. I'm happy with that. Copy code, paste, play. Oh, I mean, it's awful, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Can you make the melody minor and add more syncopation? Now it just sounds like Zelda. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is actually really, really impressive. Like imagine in 10 years, they keep developing this, they keep working on this. It's gonna make music better than me and you, <laughs> 100%. Okay, let's try something different. Can you teach me some guitar chords? Ooh, okay, here are the fingerings for some common open position major and minor chords. E major, zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. 
it explains everything. So if you've never seen a guitar in your life, this will give you a pretty good explanation of how to play these chords. That's really cool. Can you teach me a more advanced chord on the guitar? D7 sus4. I wouldn't know how to play that on the guitar, so I'm learning something new. <laughs> skip, skip, zero, two, one, three. Ooh, I like that. That's a pretty chord. Can you build me a chord progression starting from D7 sus4? All right, let's check out this chord progression. Not bad though. <laughs> And I also learned a couple new chords, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> All right, let's get into some more advanced production stuff. Explain how to compress a snare drum in very simple terms. Here are the steps to compress a snare drum. One, set up a compressor on your audio mixing software. Two, adjust the threshold setting on the compressor to determine the level at which the compressor will start to reduce the level of the snare drum. That is really good. It's not only telling you what to do, but it's also telling you what that does. Like for example, I could ask, can you explain what is the threshold of a compressor. The threshold of a compressor is the level at which the compressor starts to reduce the level of the audio signal. Dude, it just wrote that. Okay, this is blowing my mind. Hold on, I wanna try something. Can you write a script for a YouTube video about how to use a compressor? Okay, dude, what? Hi, and welcome to this video on how to use a compressor. A compressor is a powerful tool in audio mixing that allows you to control the dynamic range of an audio signal. <laughs> Dude, it's writing the whole video. Once you have your compressor ready, there are several settings that you need to adjust in order to get the desired sound. I am never writing a YouTube video again. This is it. I'm just gonna ask it to do it. <laughs> it even finished it with like a little catchphrase. That's it for this video, not to use the compressor. Thanks for watching and happy mixing. <laughs> This is amazing. Can you also give me an idea for a title and a thumbnail for this video? <laughs> if it gets this right, dude, I'm gonna just quit everything. <laughs> title, compression basics, how to use a compressor like a pro. Thumbnail, an image of a person adjusting the setting of a compressor with the audio waveform of the signal being compressed in the background. <laughs> what the f Dude, that's really good. That's actually good. If you're a beginner or you're picking up a new instrument or you want to learn something specific, like this is the fastest way to do it. It seems like it's pretty accurate and you can just literally ask the one question that you need. This is amazing. Write me an outro for a YouTube video titled AI teaches me how to make beats. Thanks for watching my video on AI teaches me how to make beats. I hope you enjoyed watching me learn about this incredible technology and the beats that AI helped me create. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> See you on the next one. Peace.